If you've been looking at the night sky in the last couple of weeks, you might have thought, is this an alien invasion? Little star-like dots are moving through the sky, neatly aligned one after another. But don't worry, what might be mistaken for UFOs are actually satellites, created by this guy, SpaceX founder Elon Musk. The satellites are part of the global Starlink project, which aims to bring high-speed internet even to the most remote corners of the world. That might sound noble, but is it really? Let's have a look and find out what's behind the Starlink mission and how it might benefit you. One, two, three, four. Starlink is a project by SpaceX, Elon Musk's very own aerospace manufacturer. Starlink has been in the making since 2015. That's when Musk announced that the company would start developing their own satellites. They were formerly focusing on carrier rockets. By 2018, the first two prototypes were launched into space. And in May 2019, the first set of satellites was sent into low Earth orbit, properly transported by SpaceX's very own Falcon 9 rocket. As of April 2020, SpaceX has launched over 400 satellites. But this is only the beginning. They plan to build a network of as many as 12,000 satellites over the next decade, meaning that we will be seeing more of these little light dots in the night sky. Reason enough to address some pretty important questions. How do we benefit from the Starlink mission? What's in it for SpaceX? And what are the risks? Here's what you need to know. In order to understand the benefits of the Starlink satellites, you need to understand how they work. Each satellite weighs about 250 kilograms and is packed with technology. It's essentially a flying, solar-powered, wireless ruder. Perhaps the most interesting bit of tech on board is a set of lasers. They are performing an important job called backhaul communications. That means they're linking nearby satellites together optically. Optically meaning very similar to the way optic cables transfer data, just without the cable. That way a massive space network is created, much like the submarine communication networks of fiber optic cables that is the backbone of our internet at the moment. If you want to learn more about that, click here and watch our recent tech explainer on how the internet works. Shooting information through space rather than through fiber optic cables has one significant advantage. Light travels twice as fast in vacuum than in glass, meaning faster internet. This leads us to the first real benefit of Starlink. The company wants to make their high-speed network as accessible as possible. Musk claims that users will only have to buy a pizza box-sized antenna, which supposedly will be very easy to set up. Unfortunately, there hasn't been any more information on how much this receiver will cost. A high-speed network in space and a low-budget antenna on Earth. Sounds good. But the big distance means the communication between antenna and satellites will take longer. That is actually the problem most traditional satellite internet providers have. It's also one of the reasons why satellite internet has never really had its breakthrough. Typical communication satellites operate in geostationary orbits at an altitude of about 36,000 kilometers. The Starlink satellites orbit the Earth at about 550 kilometers, which decreases the latency dramatically, meaning the time between impulse and response is shorter. The fact that the satellites are closer to Earth also means you need more of them to cover the whole planet. If you want to know why that is exactly, we made another video about Internet from Space that explains it. Just click the link here. To sum it up, in theory, Starlink connections have the potential to greatly reduce the latency that exists in terrestrial links and by doing so make high-speed internet accessible everywhere. To put it simply, money. Even though building the Starlink network doesn't come cheap for SpaceX, the decade-long project is estimated to cost as much as 10 billion euros, each satellite costing about 300,000 euros. However, SpaceX is also able to save a whole lot of money through their core business, rockets. No other satellite manufacturer can use their own rockets to launch their products into space. Also a big plus, SpaceX's rockets are partly reusable. And the financial gains of the project could be enormous. Last year, Elon Musk estimated that Starlink could bring in revenue of 28 billion euros per year. That's about 10 times higher than the maximum annual revenue made from their rocket business. And with that money, Musk wants to pursue his lifelong goal, traveling across the solar system. 
At the opening of the first facility dedicated to the project, he said that the revenue from Starlink will help fund a city on Mars. Pretty ambitious. Remember that video we showed you in the beginning? The one that looked like tiny UFOs in the sky? Well, only 3.5% of Starlink satellites have been launched and astronomers are already voicing serious concerns about the brightness of the Starlink mega constellation. Initially, Musk said that the satellites wouldn't be visible once they're in their final position. But recent observations by astronomers have shown that some of them are visible even without a telescope. And they claim that the number of visible satellites will even outnumber visible stars. That means that especially in areas with low light pollution and a clear night sky, Starlink satellites could become an integral part of the view. Let alone the problem that 12,000 satellites will pose for scientific observations. Starlink responded to the criticism by promising to work on the brightness issue. They want to fix the problem by changing the angle of the satellite solar panels and developing a kind of sunshade for them, whatever that might look like. But then there is also another problem, space junk. Over 100 million bits of junk surround Earth, from abandoned satellites to spacecraft that broke apart and other space missions. Each piece of debris, no matter how small, travels at speeds high enough to inflict catastrophic damage to vital equipment. A single hit could be deadly to astronauts on a spacecraft. The worst case scenario would be that Earth could end up being surrounded by a layer of debris that makes it impossible for any spacecraft to pass through. Sounds pretty bad, right? Well, to be completely honest, the Starlink mission has just begun and there are many factors that need to be considered. For example, the accuracy of the light beams used by the satellites or the regulatory approvals that SpaceX needs. But with the potential impact the project could have on our view of the night sky and the amount of space debris around us, it's important to keep a close eye on Elon Musk and his newest project. That's it for today. We hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye bye. One, two, three.